Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm Ron. My job is to read the last page. Frieda Marguerite Thompson, Ms. Rebel, Rebel Hart, was born August 13, 1928, to parents Troy William Remelhart and Myrtle Celestine Remelhart, Coleman Remelhart in Glendon, Iowa. Frida passed away September 1st, 2021, after a brief illness. As a little girl, she learned to walk holding her dad's finger and later holding her dress instead. She attended county schools in Guthrie County and graduated in 1946 from Guthrie Center High School. She taught school for one year in Exira, Audubon County, Iowa. She married uh, several of her loves, producing Gregory Duke, Darwin Campbell, and Gary Campbell, and Thomas Campbell, and Linda Campbell Mark. She worked at Montgomery Ward, White's Company, Circle B Lumber Company, Somerset Winery, Dolls, and High V. She made her children their own clothes. She made quilts, jewelry, loved to oil paint pictures, loved to dance and play bingo, loved to travel. Thanks, Linda and Ron. She was a fierce competitor at card games, including up and down the river, down the stream, she was very fashionable, frequently adorned in stylish homemade dresses and jewelry. You can see her, some of her stuff over here in the pictures and that hat. She wore that quite a little bit. Um, she is uh, survived by her husband, Jerry Thompson, children Darwin Campbell, Gary Campbell, Tom Campbell, Linda Mark, Daughter-in-law, Gwen Duke, stepchildren, Terry Mark uh, North, uh, Kevin Laurie Thompson and Richie Thompson, and grandchildren, Gail Troy, uh, Shauna, Mary, Sam, Julie, Angie, Shannon, and Whitney, many great-grandchildren, and a great-great-grandchild. Her siblings, Norma Crandall, Beverly Conley, Jim Rummelhart, Rogers Rummelhart, and her many loved, beloved friends. She was preceded in death by her parents, her son Gregory Duke, her siblings Robert Rummelhart, Freddie Rummelhart, David Rummelhart. Memorials may be made to the Pink Tractor Foundation of Hospice of Central Iowa. Frida and I became pretty good friends. One day, she decided to drive through the front of the Walgreens over here on the northeast side of Des Moines. And so she quit driving, and I became her chauffeur. So anytime Frida wanted to go someplace, I was available. And we would go out and spend the day doing this, that, and the other. She shopped a lot. But uh, we had a great time. Frida uh, worked for us at Somerset, and then uh, she also uh, helped out a lot with the kids. So Frida was a wonderful person. We loved her very much. We miss her. It was sad the last couple of weeks going through this, proposing that she was going to be buried someplace. But her and Jerry both spent a lot of time out here at Somerset. Jerry helped us wire the house when we were building the inn. So they were a big part of Somerset. And so they wanted to have ashes sprinkled here today. So we're going to do that a little later. So we're going to miss her.